video we're going to show you some of the camera image settings that you can expect to see and change on your recorder. So our recorders allow for the settings to be changed for each channel and I'm going to show you that here in a second. So first we're going to go to main menu, we're going to go down to camera, here's the overlay settings and we'll talk about this toward the end of the video. So we're going to go to image and then we're going to primarily focus on channel 2. Here we can see the front of the office here. So there's no real reason to change some of these settings as the cameras we sell are automatically tuned to produce the best quality video. The only settings that we can recommend to change is to go to more setting here. And then you'll see the day and night setting and also the light setting. And you can kind of fine tune these settings to really get a, an image that you, you like or prefer but you shouldn't really need to edit these settings too much. And please note that the flip option here will only be available on IP cameras. Also note that any third party network or OnV cameras will not allow you to actually change the settings here because the OnV protocol does not support these changes to the camera. And you can change the following settings here such as saturation, brightness, contrast, and sharpness. So saturation is the amount of color in the photo. So here we're gonna just lower it a little bit. You should see that it's a lot more grayscale in the photo. We'll put that back to 50 where it was. You'll see a normal picture appear. So the brightness um, is kind of obvious. It's, you know, you make the picture brighter, it's gonna be brighter. Lower, we're gonna set that back to 57. Contrast settings, that is the amount of darkness to brightness in the video or image. So we're going to pump that all the way up. As you can see, you can no longer see anything before the window because it's pulling in all the brightness from the outside. Now we're going to make the contrast really low and then it just turns into a gray picture. You can barely make anything out. We're going to set this back to 50. The sharpness setting can make for a more jagged or more loose picture, so we can turn the sharpness all the way up here. And as you can see, it's a little more pixelated, you can definitely see a difference here. Um, you know, you may as well just leave this as the default or 50 to uh, have a good balance between the jaggedness or smoothness of the photo. Now we're going to focus on the day and night setting inside of here. Again, this is something you're going to want to leave as auto as when the IR filter, cut filter turns on or you know there is a dark picture, it will adjust the picture automatically based on the amount of light that's actually coming into the photo sensor during the night time where there is you know low light or if you have it in a factory or a warehouse where you have the lights off. You could change it to color or, or black and white and it'll adjust the photo to black and white. Just going to leave it back on auto. Up here you can see config file and this is if you want to set certain configurations normal day, night. Switch by period also allows you to, to specify a sunrise time and a sunset time. Just going to focus on the day settings as it's the setting we were working with. And you can also change the name of the channel. This is the setting that I was talking about earlier. It's going to be in the overlay. And down here at the bottom, and we're going to focus on channel 2. And here you can change the channel title. I'm just going to add 25 to the end of this. I'm going to click apply. So this is changing the channel title to front 25. You can also add it to the overlay by checking this button, clicking apply, then going back to your core camera view here. And as you can see, it changed it to front 25, and it is displayed on the camera channel. Hopefully, this video helps. Thank you for watching.